Do you have a US J1 visa? Would you like to bring your family members to the US? Yes, you can do it. All you need is a US J2 visa. Hi, this is Max from the Visa Library. The USA J2 visa is a type of non-immigrant visa issued to family members of those who have a J1 visa. In this video, I will talk about this visa in detail, its requirements, application process, work permits, and so much more. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, no time is better than right now. Like the video as well, so you can get notified every time we make new content. Well, let's go. What is a USA J2 visa? As I mentioned, only dependents can get this visa. Who are considered dependents? The dependents include unmarried children under 21 and spouses. There is also no annual cap for J2 visa issuance. It means that the eligible people can obtain this visa. This visa gives you many advantages. Getting a driver's license, enrollment in academic programs, opening a bank account, getting a work permit under certain conditions, and traveling in and out of the US are among those advantages. Now, let's talk about the disadvantages. As you know, different categories are defined in the exchange visitor program. The family members of those who apply for the au pair, camp counselor, secondary school student, and summer work travel are not allowed to receive a J-2 visa. Any change in the status of the J-1 visa holder will lead to a change in the J-2 visa. Since various organizations sponsor J-1 visa holders, bringing their dependents under the J-2 visa is subject to the permission of that organization. What are the requirements of the US J-2 visa? Dependents of the J-1 visa holders need approval of the sponsor of their program. The sponsor should approve the immigration of the dependents. Remember that only those who have a real and registered marriage can accompany J-1 visa holders. Partnerships or relationships are not accepted. You, as a US J-2 visa applicant, must provide, number one, Form DS-160, it is an online application form. Two, confirmation or barcode of Form DS-160. Three, a valid passport. Four, one photo. Five, receipt of paid visa application fee. Six, the confirmation letter of the interview appointment. Seven, SEVIS pages and a copy of the form DS-2019. 8. A copy of the J-1 visa holders form DS-2019. 9. If the J-1 visa holder intends to participate in an intern or trainee program, you're going to need a copy of their form DS-7002. Number 10. Evidence that you and the J-1 visa holder can support your expenses. Number 11, health insurance. Number 12, marriage certificate and documents confirming a genuine marriage like wedding albums, uh, invitation cards, list of wedding guests, uh, pictures with marriage witnesses, and children's birth certificates. Now, how to apply for a US J-2 visa? The application process for a US J-2 visa is similar to J-1 visas. The form DS-2019 is issued to each member of the family in their name. This form must be provided to the counselor office in an interview. The online application form must also be completed and a receipt of $160 paid as application fees. All the documents that I just mentioned must be prepared and you must schedule an interview appointment at the embassy. Participation in an interview is a part of the pre-visa process. A counselor officer interviews you at the US embassy. They might ask you some questions about your intention to travel to the US, your relationship with the J-1 visa holder and your financial situation. During the interview, you must honestly answer the questions and prove that you do not intend to stay permanently in the US. 
An ink-free digital fingerprint scan will also be taken during the interview. One question. How long is the J-2 visa processing time? The processing time for a J-2 visa varies depending on the case and the workload of the embassy. But on average, the processing time is around one month. Another question, how can you renew a J-2 visa? If the J-1 visa holders apply for a visa renewal, the J-2 visa holders can also apply for an extension. If the renewal request is approved, a new form DS-2019 will be issued. Another question, are J-2 visa holders subject to the two-year home residency requirement? Some exchange visitors with J-1 visas are subject to a two-year home country physical presence requirement. It requires them to return home for at least two years after their exchange visitor program. The two-year home residency requirement also applies to J-2 visa holders. According to this requirement, J-2 visa holders must return to their home country after the visa has expired and before they can reapply. If the J-1 visa applicants submit a two-year waiver and the request is accepted, you, as a J-2 visa holder, will be exempt from this requirement. In some cases, a J-2 visa holder can apply for a waiver of the two-year requirement. What cases? Well, let's see. If the holder of the J-1 visa has died, you must provide a death certificate. If you get a divorce from the J-1 visa holder, you must provide a valid divorce certificate. If you're a child of a J-1 visa holder and have reached the age of 21, you must present your birth certificate. In addition to the mentioned documents, you must indicate why you want to apply for a two-year exemption. Another question. Can J-2 visa holders change their visa status? Some J-2 visa holders can change their visa status. If you do not have a two-year requirement, you can change the status of your visa. You can find a job position to qualify for other visas, including the H-1 visa. In this case, the employer must apply for Form I-29. Another question. Can J-2 visa holders apply for a green card? Holders of a J-2 visa are eligible for a green card. If the J-1 visa holder receives his or her green card, you, as his or her dependent, will be also eligible to obtain the green card. The J-2 visa holders can also apply for a green card based on employment and family reasons. Another question. Can the J-2 visa holders work in the U.S.? In most cases, J-2 visa holders can work. To do this, they must first obtain an employment authorization document from the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. You, as an applicant for a J-2 visa, must apply for an employment authorization document or EAD three to four months after arriving in the U.S. Do this to demonstrate that you can cover your expenses in the first few months of your stay. If you apply for this certificate immediately after entering the U.S., your financial situation will be questioned, so don't do this. To obtain this certificate, you must provide the Form I-765, copies of Forms DS-2019, Form I-94, and passport two photos, your marriage certificate, and also provide reasons for requesting the certificate. If you find a job, you must provide a letter from your employer indicating that your income will not be spent on a J-1 visa holder. In this letter, you should mention the information related to the holder of the J-1 visa, including the category, sponsor, etc. Your certificate can be valid until the end of your stay in the U.S. By receiving the certificate, you can find a part-time or full-time job. This answers another question. How long can a J-2 visa holder stay in the U.S.? 
Holders of J-2 visas can stay in the U.S. as long as the primary visa holders remain in the U.S. One more question. How can applicants of a J-2 visa obtain health insurance? That's a tough one. Sponsors in most exchange programs provide health insurance to the J-1 visa holders. In some cases, they also offer health insurance for the J-2 visa holder. But that is not necessarily the case. If the sponsor does not provide valid health insurance for the dependents, J-1 visa holders must apply for the insurance. Well, there you go. Now you're gonna start your US J-2 visa application. If these steps were so confusing, don't worry. I'll put a cheat sheet for you on our website. Link in the description. Go ahead and download it. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you all for watching.